Yo, what's up guys, Glock9 here, and welcome back to Ramblin' Man. It's the morning of day two, and I was debating whether or not we go to the trader first thing and make a little bit more room in our inventory, or if we just head for this uh, quest line here, which is a fetch quest line. So I'm sure it's going to be some sort of POI we're going to have to get in, clear out, and then uh, do some looting and find the item that the trader wants. And uh, we're just going to head for the quest line first instead of backtracking to the trader because I cleared out some of the things in my inventory last night and there are also some things I have that I, I can still drop uh, if, if we come across something that's better you know the torch that's in my tool belt we don't really need that and there are some other things we can get rid of as well if we need to so we'll just push on forward towards this quest line explore a little bit of this uh, town here there's plenty of things to search and check out Actually, I just said and we don't need the torch. We might as well use it, though, while we have it. Just to, uh, because I'm keeping an eye out for bird's nests, because you can never have enough feathers or eggs. Well, actually, you can have enough feathers. We almost have a full stack, I believe. Um, uh, and obviously, we don't want to go above 250, because I'm not trying to keep two stacks of feathers. That's probably overkill. Matter of fact, we need to get some wood and stone and make some more feathers, but... We'll worry about that in a little bit. Let's just push on for now. Ooh, what's this building right here? You know what it looks like. It looks like a bear den. And that's exactly what it is. Uh, we ripped through a couple of those in, what, Zombieland? And we got lucky as hell in Zombieland. And up at the top, instead of bears, in both locations, we had ri those big, giant, radiated boars. And those things are a great source of meat. So we might have to hit up this bear den at some point. Whoops, you gotta use the axe on these ribs. The knife doesn't do shit. Um, yeah, we might have to hit up this bear den at some point and see if we get uh, lucky again. I mean, if there's zombie bears up there, we're kinda screwed because they don't really give you shit. We got a shotgun messiah right here, which is nice. I wanna loot that place for sure. A lot of good stuff in this town to loot, man. Uh, speaking of Zombieland, let me go back to that real quick because a lot of people continue to ask me what happened to that series. We were playing Zombieland in um, uh, the experimental version of Alpha 17 and when it went to stable, that save just got all screwed up on me. The textures got all screwed up. I tried uh, validating files. I tried a bunch of things. I couldn't get it fixed. The, the save just completely screwed up and I had to delete it. So. Uh, that's why we started Dishong Tower, because it went to a stable build and we started Dishong Tower. Now we're doing Ramblin' Man. And we're going to stick with these two series for now until one of them comes to a brutal end. Which is hopefully not anytime soon, but if that does happen, then we may just do a regular survival series in a random world. We may do Zombieland Season 3, and because uh, people seem to really like that. You know, just, just a regular survival series with no stipulations. Okay, it looks like we're going to be pushing into the desert biome again to fulfill this quest line, which is fine. Ooh, there we go, some 9mm. Hopefully we can find a gun to go with that. But, uh, yeah, we kind of want to just get there as soon as we can and get these supplies for the trader, get back to Trader Jen, and get situated, and, and then probably pick up another quest line from her and see where that, that leads us. Ooh, some more ammo. We, you know, it's going to be tough holding on to a bunch of different ammo if we don't have guns to go with it. But the ammo also sells for a good price. So, you know, if we don't find a gun in our travels, when we get back to Jen, we can sell her some of this ammo if we want. Probably not the 9mm, because it's more likely that we'll find a pistol. But maybe we'll sell the 7.62 if we don't find a gun to go with it. Um... See, because we're already... Well, I'm going to dump these feathers. We already have a full stack. No reason to pick up any more feathers at this point until we start making some more arrows. I love the improvement of the lighting in this alpha. It's not even the alpha. It's the engine. Yeah, the upgraded engine. Way better lighting. Look at this. It's like we're uh, going into the afterlife here. Um, all right. We got to be pretty close by. These houses, man. It's another cool little city. Just want to check out all these POIs, but 
One thing at a time. This has got to be the place right here, this yellow building. All right, uh, let's just make sure real quick. Yeah, that's that's it. So whatever the trader's looking for is inside here. Let's head around to the front, though, because there has to be a exclamation point somewhere to activate the quest line. Just making sure I'm not going to step on any booby traps or anything. There it is. Oh, shit. I hear a dog. Oh, damn. I don't know where it is, but I'm getting up here. There it is. Um, oh, I don't even have an arrow loaded. Oh, shit. I fell. Uh, get up on this porch. Damn it. Oh, these... I hate when that happens with the lag with the fucking frames. You put one down and it's not there. Where's this dog? Can I shoot through these? Uh, I can. Oh, nice. There you go, dumbass. Oh, thank God I can shoot through these bars. Come on. Zombies approaching. Die. He's dead. All right. Picked up these frames. Get my arrows. Let's go activate this quest line. Nothing like a dog to screw your whole plans up. Um, okay. All right. So I see uh, the thing I need to get is on my compass there at the top, which it's got to be inside this building. Let's get up here. Vulture. Come on, buddy. Bam. Oh, what was that? Another vulture? Holy shit. I forget. They like running fucking gangs. Two. Oh, shit. I'm out of stamina. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, give me a break. Uh, that's not a good idea. Oh, my God. I'm going to... Is this unreal or what, dude? Two series. Two videos. Back to back. I almost get taken out by vultures. Okay. Well, we'll shoot down on these zombies and we'll continuously check the skies here. Look, there's another one up there. This is, that's fucking bullshit. Like, I'm okay with the vultures. I'm glad there are vultures in this game. Look, here he comes for me. I definitely think there should be vultures. What? Come on, I hit him with the power attack. And he still got a hit out on me. I'm okay with the fact that there are vultures. I think there should be vultures in the game. We should have some sort of threat from the skies. But limit their spawn rates. You know what I mean? Like... Three just attacked me. There's another one, and now I'm just... I gotta shoot... I, I'm not jumping down into this room. I gotta stay up here and shoot down at these zombies. And now I'm paranoid as fuck that I'm gonna get killed. One... Another vulture... Another couple of vultures swoop, swoop in on me, and we're dead. So, I don't know. Maybe just limit their spawn rate. You know? Everything else... Nothing else needs to be changed about them. But it's just a little fucking crazy. But I guess, you know, they only spawn in the desert, right? In the desert and the wasteland, I think. I don't think vultures spawn in the green biome. And it uh, would have been nice to stay in the green biome, but I want to fulfill this quest. Alright, I haven't seen any more, so... If I can just get Mo killed here, I'll drop in. And uh, if there's a bunch more zombies or it looks crazy, we can just pull our way out of here. So let's, let's do that. I know there are more zombies in here. Let's get one frame down. Grab some arrows back. There we go. Okay. I think we can deal with this. As long as we don't get... I don't think we're going to get hit from behind because we just got a bathroom back here. Uh, but they're closing in on me pretty fast. Yeah, we may have to get out of here. Come on. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Cutting it a little too close when you don't have full health. Oh, shit. There goes some frames. Alright. Keep looking for vultures. <laughs> uh, do not want to end Ramblin' Man on day two. Would not be a good look for me. You know, I'm supposed to be like the John McClane of Seven Days to Die, you know? Gotta survive. No matter what. A lot of zombies down there now, though. Ah, oh, don't destroy that backpack. I hope that's not where the item is that I need. And we're out of arrows. Fuck. And I'm definitely not jumping down in there with just a bat. That, that'd be just, that would be suicide. So, 
Uh, we have feathers on us and we have some stone, but we, we don't have any wood. So I think the move here now is to just hop down here, go cut down a tree, make some more arrows, and then get back up here and deal with these zombies. Or maybe they'll come walking out of the building and we can deal with them outside. Alright, let's get back up here and see what it looks like. I mean, we could try going in through like a door or a window, but... I think it's a little bit safer just peeking in here, as long as no vultures fucking attack us. We'll be alright. Um, let's grab a couple of frames here. Let's get down there, and if we need to, we can pull our way back up. I want to just see where they're at. They may be trying to break out of the building. So, uh, let's just get down there and see. We can block this off here if we need to. I don't even think that's necessary. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're all stuck at the front door here. There's quite a bit of them. <laughs> let's see, can we squeeze past them and get out that door? That's probably the better move. All right. Okay. I feel a little bit safer here than I did on that rooftop. However, vultures can still get us, and now we're susceptible to dogs, but all we can do is keep watching our back and try and take this group out as quick as possible. Okay, well, that's one way to get a shit ton of XP. Oh my god. Alright, let's get in this place. I knew we had a couple of things here on the rooftop that we missed. Just some trash here. Glass, no thanks. Alright, let's get down in here. Uh, oh, looks like that backpack was destroyed. But the, uh, the loot the trader wants is still in our compass, so it's got to be in here somewhere. Let's bust this open. Here we go. Uh, oh, we got some stuff up here. Duffel bag, is this it? There it is. Okay, we got the supplies for the trader. Let's just uh, see what else we can find in this house. Or this uh, trailer. And get the hell out of here. Alright, let's check out the kitchen here. We're already encumbered. Oh, meat pie. Definitely take that. Or meat stew, I meant. <laughs> meat pie. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll just take... We'll, we'll eat the peas, I guess, even though we're not really that hungry right now. That should fill us up, though. Um, I mean, we're already encumbered. Ooh, we got a shotgun messiah crate right here. But that's the name of the game, dude. We gotta get used to being encumbered. It's gonna just be that way for a little bit. Especially early game. There we go. Pistol. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to scrap that. Oh! To put that in our tool belt. Now that it's unloaded, though, let's put some more rounds in it. Okay. Let's crack into this bad boy here. We got a chest also. A couple more things to search. And then we'll get out of here, head for the trader. We will sell what we can sell. Keep stacking up our coin. Oh, man. Nice. Shotgun, baby. Um. Oh, there we go. Not that I'm going to wear that armor. But we can probably sell it for a decent amount. That armor's just gonna slow us down. Um, uh, another cooking pot. We can scrap that. Some water. Perfect. More water. Great. Scrap that. Take the glass jars. Okay. Grab these chairs that we can scrap for the wood. Nothing in the trash can. Uh, I'm gonna scrap the chest armor. Because you only get 14 coin for it, but we can get 350 armor, and I'm gonna scrap the the gloves too. We get 90 coin for the gloves, but whatever, man. We'll stack up our iron for now. All right, let's check out the cement mixer. I don't know where that other zombie's at. Uh, cement mix. You know what? We'll take that. We can sell it. And let's check this chem station. Oh, we got a die. We can put that into our um, bat. Let's just repair it first. And start heading towards the trader, man. We're encumbered. We're slow as shit, but... Oh, we can grab these frames. Totally forgot. I put these down. 
And, uh, where's our bat? Oh. I'm still scrapping that, so the bat's gonna be a minute. That's fine. Just grab some stone on our way. We're gonna need to get some more wood so we can make more arrows, but... Right now, with the... With the pace that we're moving, I just want to head straight for the trader and unload. Uh, let's drink some water here, because we're overheating. Alright, I grabbed some plant fiber, and with that, we're making a plant fiber hat. Uh, I'm going to dump the rest of the plant fibers that we have. Uh, this hat should help keep us a little bit cooler. This military ha uh, helmet, it scraps for military fiber, but it also sells for a good amount, so we're going to sell that to the trader. Ooh, loot bag. Love seeing those. Steel and paper. Probably sell both of those things to the trader. Okay, here we go. I wonder what we're gonna get for this. Does it tell you beforehand? I don't think so. Uh, I may have missed it, though. I miss a lot of things. Damn, Jen. Your voice is sounding a bit deep. So we got a steel shovel or leather boots. Um, well, leather boots are going to cost us some stamina, which I don't like, you know? Um, a steel shovel we don't really need right now. Be nice to have, you know what, uh, the steel shovel sells for more. So we'll just take the steel shovel and I'll probably just sell it back to her. So let's check her inventory, sell uh, as many of these bolts as I can, we'll scrap the rest. Um, we'll sell the beers. We're gonna sell the uh, steel jacketed 7.62 rounds, I think we're gonna sell the other 7.62 rounds as well. Uh, I think we're gonna sell the steel also, I already used one piece of it to uh, fix my wrench. I don't know if this this steel's worth hanging on to. It might be, but at the same time, uh, we can sell the leather. Um, we can sell the grain alcohol. I don't care. We're gonna sell the shovel, right? Yeah. I mean, unless we took on a a, a, a quest to uh, dig up some supplies, but we're not gonna. We're gonna sell all the concrete, or as much of it as we can. We'll dump the rest. And I think we're looking okay. We're gonna put the lead and the brass in the forge. We can sell the torch for one coin. I mean, I guess so. Just get rid of it, right? We don't need it. We can craft another one if we really needed it. It'd be nice if we can find a mining helmet. That's, uh... That'll be awesome. Um, I don't think we're gonna buy anything from Jen right now. We're just trying to stack up coin. I mean, we could buy raw meat, but... Uh, I don't know. We're doing okay. We got that meat stew. We got plenty of bacon and eggs left, and we still have some raw meat. Let's see. Um, okay, most of her stuff is clear zombies and buried supplies. So we're just going to do clear zombies. That's a lot better than digging up treasure. And uh, shit, we got to go back into the desert. Don't really want to do that. I guess I can't... Uh, I mean, I guess I could cancel this quest and try and get another one from her, but even if I did that, I don't think... There might be a time limit, so I might not be able to get one again right away. Fuck it. We'll go into the desert. Um, oh, shit. Forgot to put the lead and the brass in the forge. Let's go do that. Just throw it in there. Uh, we can even start smelting it. Whatever. Someone asked me why I would smelt down the brass casings, because I threw some brass casings in here in the last episode. And basically because I don't want to carry them around right now. We're just going to smelt it down. And when we're ready to make bullets, uh, then we'll make everything we need and craft them right then and there. Even though I don't know if we'll ever get around to doing that, because... Well, we will, I guess, if we find a vehicle. Because as of right now, I don't have any room to start storing gunpowder. But if I had a full backpack completely opened, I can certainly spare one of the slots for gunpowder. Um, so that's that's gonna but that's gonna be in the future, man. That's gonna be down the road when it, by the time we start crafting ammo. Um, all right, 
let's just, uh, like I said, I hate to wander out into the desert again, but we're going to do it. Um, it's getting kind of late. I don't know if we're going to be able to clear out a whole bunch of zombies before the day's over, but I got to imagine there's going to be a bunch of POIs around. Ooh, look, there's some water up here, too. That's good. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of POIs around the place where we have to clear out. So the goal right now is to get close by that area, find a place where we can uh, clear out relatively easy, spend the night there, and then first thing in episode three, we'll go ahead and clear out all those zombies, get back to the trader. There's a zombie over there, so we're going to swim. Uh, get back to the trader, see what we get for clearing out the zombies. And I don't know, I don't want to keep... Oh shit, where's that coming from? She's up there. Let's keep it moving. And we're overheating already, like severely overheating. It's got the red sun in the bottom left. That's not good. Maybe we should jump back in the water. Will that kind of cool us off a little? It used to cool you off. Oh, it looks like it is. We still have a long trek, though. I'm sure as soon as I get out of this water, we're going to start overheating bad again. This might, this might be a mistake, <laughs> but... We take chances in this game. That's what makes it fun. If we didn't take any chances, this shit would be boring. Well, there's a house right there, but I think we can get closer. There's a whole bunch more stuff up the road here, so we got some zombies following us. But we're overheating really bad. I hear vultures. I don't really want to stop and have a fight right now. I mean, we're going to have a fight once we... Uh, once we find a place to clear out. Oh, man, there's a whole bunch of shit over here. We're getting there. Oh, all right. Just right, let's just keep moving. I don't really want to spend the night in one of these run-down buildings. Oh, here we go. Barn, baby. I think this is the winner. This should be real easy to clear out. Maybe only two or three zombies in there. You got to watch, though. Up on the top, sometimes there's a feral. But we got a pistol and a shotgun, so if there is... We'll deal with it. Come on. Dude, my stamina is fucked from overheating so much. Hello? Oh, here we go. There's one. Get some, uh... Bow and arrow play. Even though I... Doesn't matter how many zombies you kill with the bow and arrow. You don't get better with it by using it. You have to get better with it by buying the perks. That's one thing I liked better in Alpha 16. I like improving my skill level at something by using that thing. You know what I mean? You like the more you use a blunt uh, melee weapon, the, the better you get at doing damage with blunt weapons. Same thing goes for using a, uh, a knife or a bladed weapon. And same thing's going, uh, you know, then there was bow and arrows, and then there was one for every weapon. You know, for your pistol, for your rifle. Oh shit, Big Mama's up there. And that's... <laughs> I knew I heard something hitting. Fucking snake underneath me. Let's deal with this snake. We'll get a little bit of meat out of it. Try not to wake Big Mama while we do this. But yeah, you know, the more you, you used your pistol, the better you got with it, and the more damage you did with it. Same thing, same thing goes for the shotgun and the rifle. And I like that system a bit better. You know, it because it made you want to use all the different types of weaponry, so you got better with it all. Now all you gotta do is buy a perk, and that just seems a little shitty to me. But you know, is what it is. Let's take care of Big Mama, and uh, we'll loot this place and secure it. By secure it, I mean we'll just chop that this ladder down, so no zombies can get up here. A couple of crates up here. That we can search. And then we'll spend the night up here on this uh, catwalk. Ooh, another shotgun. Some 7.62 rounds and some shotgun rounds. Let's see what we got in this working stiff tools crate. Um, when we start accumulating more than one weapon, ooh, a whole bunch of wood frames, those will come in handy. Then I'm not sure what the best move is here. Scrapping it is kind of, is probably pointless. Best thing to do would probably be to sell it. Ah, uh, the roof is, uh, what's going on here? Is the roof messing me up? Why can't I get up here? Here we go. Um, yeah, I think this will do just fine for tonight. Alright, our food's not that bad. We are pretty thirsty, though. Let's drink a little bit more. 
water. We may end up just waiting until morning and then eating that meat stew. But uh, I just kind of want to search around this area for a little bit while we got some time. Probably grab some aloe. Because then we can make uh, aloe cream. And then aloe cream and cloth will make us first aid bandages. And since we had to use our first aid bandage when those vultures attacked us, probably be good to try and craft some of those. However, I do believe you need a perk to do that. But I'm going to grab this stuff for now so I have it. And then um, I'll check out my skill points tonight. And if we can grab that perk and make the bandages, that would be ideal. If, if for some reason we can't get the perk yet, then we'll either hold on to the supplies for when we can, can get the perk, or we'll drop them for now. We can always come back to the desert and get aloe. Well, actually, maybe not. <laughs> if we're in the green biome, might be worthwhile to make as much aloe cream as we can before we leave the desert and just hold on to it. God, lady! Back up! Holy shit, losing all your stamina and then getting stunned? That's just a recipe for disaster right there. Whole bunch of zombies beating on something. Are they in there? Let's just get the hell away from this building for a second. Dead rabbit. <laughs> Shouldn't have stood up. Let's grab some meat. Okay, we're encumbered, which is awesome. Uh, we did get some cloth, though, so... Um, yeah, shit, we can't get... We can't make the first aid bandage without the perk. Um, woke up a whole bunch of zombies, so... I want to try and get them killed before we get in this barn for the night. And then they all come knocking the barn down. Um, did they see me? Are they coming this way? They're jumping out of that building. Um... Eh, we got some time. Let's go fight him. Okay. That should be it. I don't hear or see any more, so let's just go ahead and get in our barn. Still got a bit of time, but... Let's not even mess around. And there's two zombies up here. Oh, jeez. Good thing it wasn't, uh... Good thing we didn't wait till the very last second. We would have had two ferals up there. Alright, let's bring them out here. Come on. Hurry up and finish them off before more zombies hear this. Come on. Get up there, we'll call it a night. Die! Okay. Alright, let's get up here. I want to knock this ladder out. So, if zombies do happen to come in here tonight, let's not make it easy for them, you know? Alright, here's the perk we need to craft first aid. Physician. It's under intellect, but we need intellect level 4 in order to open it. We only have two skill points. So, I'll put one into intellect, but I also want to put one into strength, I think. Because even if I put one more into intellect right now, I'm not going to have any points left anyway to get physician. So, um, well insulated would probably be a good one to, to work with also, considering we're going to be outside most of the time. We're constantly traveling. Um, but I'm going to go strength for now because we need to get another level of pack mule going. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to call it a night. Pretty rough, you know, overheating up here in this barn, but it is what it is. We'll get through it. And then in the morning, we will go clear out the zombies in that uh, location, head back to the trader, cash in there, sell a bunch of stuff, and then uh, we'll probably grab yet another quest line from the trader, but probably won't go rushing to fulfill that quest line either. Um, let's throw a save waypoint. We're just going to use the X. Should we name it? Um, we can name it Barn, or we can name it, like, No. <laughs> you know, like, Don't Go Here. Or we just 
hit enter and just put an X, we'll know what the X means. It means you can't stay there anymore. Um, and where did we stay last night? The uh, diner, which is right here. So we will also uh, save a waypoint there, and we'll just do an X, and that's it. So we've marked the two places that we've stayed so far, so we know we cannot stay there again. And uh, as you can see on the map, we're real close to um, where we got to clear out the zombies. So we'll do that first thing. Like I said, head back to the trader, cash in, sell what we can. And then at that point, we're probably just going to hang around the, uh, the, uh, that city, you know, in the green biome. Pick a couple of POIs to clear out and uh, just level up as much as we can, as quick as we can, so we can open up Grease Monkey and Pack Mule more and all the perks that we're going to need to take Ramblin' Man into the future. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. It means a lot. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Ramblin' Man, more Dishong Tower survival, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.